Yeah, no, it was a really nice day. Uh, breeze was pretty solid. It increased towards the end of the race, but uh, we liked the left. We we started to, to lure it of the fleet. We owned the left, and it came good to, to the top mark. And the second beat, the same. We looked after the left, and uh, it was nice, nice sailing. Yes, Estonia came into us on the downwind. We rounded, and they got just a little more pressure on the run uh, directly behind us, so they pulled in with wind and we did well just to protect our position at the bottom mark round and as I say we just looked after the left for that second beat and uh, it, it stood to us in the end. Yeah, some of our crew raced the boat. Um, Harry Durkin who's driving has sailed with Team Aqua with the RC44 so he's got a little tiller time in their practice days and uh, two of our crew are full time in the RC44 and Dave Kenefick trimming the uh, head sails and spinnakers. There's a lot of experience on boats with winches and uh, has done two Figaro's so he can sail every front to back on the boat so he knows everything uh, what's going on. So we tried to select a team that gelled well uh, straight into their positions and are strong with the good bowman from the RC44, the pitman from the RC44 good trimmer and I'm trimming the main and keeping the head out of the boat when I can to do tactics and uh, yeah we are we're all friends we all know each other very well and uh, we can we can bark at each other without upsetting each other and uh, really keep the boat going fast so it's a it's a good gel. Uh, we'll see what the weather brings we again try and sail smart sail clean um, and we have us in Estonia have a little jump on the guys behind so just have to be smart to keep close on the points uh, with Two more days of racing, we'll, we'll see how many races they can get in. Um, but yeah, you just have to sail smart now. The two of us are leading on joint points on seven, so just protect behind.